What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and this is the Hell Hades 2024 free to play challenge. All right, so we're right now on day 20. It's been almost three weeks of this competition and let's look where we're at. So first of all, uh, let's take a look in the leaderboards. All right. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you guys uh, are actually participating on the competition. Be a... Uh, on content creator or as community and let me know where you guys at too all right so let's take a look and damn look at that team scratch numero uno there you go all right points wise yours and only broken up dead russian right here 26 9 points we are killing it now they did have a rebalance on the on the game because of one of the teams they got a mixed match because some of the content creators really had stopped playing or didn't even start at least the people that signed up to be on the competition so one of the teams got moved around what was great because it made the game a little more fair some of those teams had like four guys Okay, playing, so they could not actually up their game. What is fair? It's great. My team actually, um, everybody has been playing, has been engaged on the competition. Would have helped a lot. And that's why we're in first place right now. But remember, everything can change in a second. Talking about changes, let's take a look on the points of the community. All right, so right here, sixth and seventh place, uh, that's the highest guys on the content creator side, and that's me and Odd One Gaming. What has been a very interesting competition because it's pretty much uh, an hour ago, I was above him, he passed me. Prior to that was the same thing going on at least for the last 48 hours. Uh, it's being a horse race, okay? He passed me by a few points. I level, I do something, uh, faction wars, and I pass him again. So, for me, I'm a very competitive person. I love that, but now it's being competitive, but having fun being competitive, okay? It's not like we actually joke about that on the Discord. So, it's all good, guys. Anyway, so let's take a look where I am in the game right now okay so basically what I'm working as of now is to get another champion with six level 16 artifacts what also gonna help me to clear some more of the dungeons now I would say some of you gotta remember those missions they're very important to complete they help a lot and the most because you get energy you get gear you get more energy you get gems and you get shards as well so it's worth completing them but at the same time you should not be focusing to the point that you're wasting resources just complete them i usually try to do unless it's potion keeps because then you're stuck for like days without being able to access um i just try to complete them as i'm completing other objectives or you know getting levels on my champions etc so and let's look at my champions because i had some really good luck yes last night so uh, pretty much what happened is i opened i believe two shards in a row and i got epic champions so right now my roster um i have my four six star and the last ones was discard that I got him uh, basically because his shield it helps me a lot actually it's getting me to get more damage on the clan boss would have helped a lot uh, this dude that I'll be honest I regret a little bit six starring him um, I know his gear is not optimal but that's the thing I should have focused more on getting gear for him prior to six starring him so probably he would have been my fourth, not my third. I would have had G-Scard first, and that would have helped me in a lot of other ways. But anyway, you know, 
regrets that don't exist in here all right don't exist in this game it happened just fix it later okay anyway so i actually pulled Torag the frog what is great oh my god if i had pulled him earlier i probably would have six star him already and it's basically because of his ally protection shield and reflect damage it's great and the most when you go to like clan boss it's really hard or during the fire night so this would have been really good i would probably have booked him uh but you know happens that's that's what it is in the game it happens and you just keep trucking right anywho what else who else oh yes and right after that i pulled shonaru no i pulled shonaru and then i pulled Tarag the frog shonaru is not bad um uh, I'm taking a little slow on leveling her because I have other priorities right now. But she does have a great block debuffs. Uh, weaken, what helps a lot, as you guys know. And removes all increased defense from all enemies and the critical cooldown of Lay Bear. So that's really good if you are sanded. Oh no, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> anyway, if you look at the reviews spider dan and all she's really good now i only trust those reveals a little bit they usually if i'm not so used to the champion i may look just to have an idea uh but yeah tarag come on man look at this dude look beauty beauty thing of beauty right there by the way i forgot to say earlier i hope you guys are having a great day and i really appreciate you guys being here all right, I'm working on remembering in the beginning of the video. I just get really excited. You guys bring the best on me and you make me very excited to be doing videos again. So I appreciate it. Anywho, let's go back. All right, so no missions. No, not you. All right, campaign. Where are we? I clear Bruto and everything else. And I was able, after I got G-Scarred, to six star <laughs> i was finally able to pass felhin's gate this the boss battle it was just not allowing me to go through it could not could not got you scarred six star he was still level 50 or 45 and he allowed me to pass almost two starred didn't that's okay and right now, clear Palace of Aravia. And on Tearshire, where I'm actually a little bit stuck in here. Shouldn't be such a problem. Um, I gotta be working on that. Not so much focus. The good thing is the points for the competition, but I don't want to waste resources. Okay, it's not worth it. Can get points in other ways. I need better gear. That's all I need. After that, I can blow through the campaign. Okay. What's next, huh? All right, Arena. So, I had to take a bit of a step back because Gold 1 was almost impossible. Um, it's getting better now with some of the new champions. I just need to level them, get them 6. So, I'm working back on getting to Gold 1. Because it wasn't worth for me to do a refresh, could not find anybody to battle against that I could actually win, wait 15 minutes, do another refresh, don't find anything again, or find just one. So, still not the best on Silver 4, but a lot better. And I'll look through that afterwards. Tag Team, not being too bad, kind of a hustle. My defense, I kind of lowered the defense a bit. I got to be raising that uh, today. But my point is, I need those gold bars so I can come in here in the bazaar and get whatever I need. I just got, I needed, I know it's horrible, but I did need some silver. So I had to use a little bit. I would discourage you to do it. Okay? Being taken energy. Prioritize over Ancient Shards. Because right now, I have a lot of Epics. Sure, I can use another one. 
but it doesn't mean an ancient shard will give me that but energy yeah it will level my champions and it will help me a lot more same thing with rank 3 chicken will that help sure do i get more from do i get more three rank 3 chickens with 300 energy yes that's what you should be thinking about you know most enough for you to play all right now dungeons not doing too bad actually uh <laughs> i've seen you have been the only one that cleared stage three of shogun uh shogun is really not free to play friendly unless you pull some incredible champions and just so you guys know how i clear miscreated monster he pretty much can go up to stage three and clear by himself still not worth the energy um i just want to be in the leaderboards that's what it's about uh send devil clear the first stage probably can clear second not worth it i don't have a good enough healer as of right now or at least leveled so need to work on that first fire knight i'm on stage 10 and the only reason is i need to get my allure a lot faster um, and also get some of my gears to level si uh, 16. Dragon Lair not doing too bad I'm at stage 15 uh, been getting a lot of six gear but it, it's just hard because having to you know not use too much energy because sometimes you don't get anything on Dragon or anything that is worth so trying to play with that so right now is really the time for me to after i get everything 16 or at least my main care, uh, champions is to start farming also farming uh spider dan so i'm at stage 11 stage 11 is really bad for me um it's uh i would say like 70 percent win rate not worth it so stage 10 piss cake uh i may be able to actually get stage 11 now but i do need to up my gear first it's i'm not going to waste energy i don't have to do it uh ice golem 12 i can probably knock 13 as of now um because i haven't really used since i leveled a lot of my champions so this shouldn't be a problem minotaur all the way to stage 15 going a little slow in the most because i wasn't using all my champions i was trying to focus you know a couple of the masteries to some special ones so yeah <laughs> uh magic keep so magic keeps a problem because i can probably clear i'm probably gonna clear 13 just because of the um challenges I just need to figure out i know i had an issue while clearing this i need to figure out what it was heals or whatever um but i probably right now should have a champion to help with whatever issue it was arcane i haven't done arcane that much i can probably clear higher um last time i really went there was like a week ago and my champions are doing a lot better right now and Iron Twins, I have cleared not this one, but stage one. And I know I can clear magic, but it's probably going to be a 50% win rate, so not worry about that. Would be great to get some blessings, but I feel it's better for me to wait at least a week, get everything more synced, and work on that. So, and Doom Tower. Yeah, so I'm going to get to Clan Boss. Don't worry about it. So, Doom Tower, I am stuck at the Spider. Uh, I'm trying to work some way. I, I, I need to fix my speed and how hard the heat. I feel the moment I get all my equipment to 16, I should be able to clear just fine. And then I shouldn't have an issue until probably here. Hopefully, up there. Some people are stuck around like 49 yeah uh, some of those mobs are worse than the bosses a lot of times so let's see but 
still a few weeks. I don't think anybody gonna get to um, hard in this rota rotation, <laughs> unless you're really lucky. Never know. Okay, did I think I would be like on the, let me say top five of this competition right now? Hell no. Again, disclaimer, very important. I'm not running as many accounts as a lot of those content creators, okay? Hell Hades, he has to do tasks, he has to do a lot of stuff. I have a couple of accounts, uh, one of them, my main account I'm fixing right now, and I have my account that, I mean, hoarding shards for like the next two months. I hoard for one month, open then, and now two months. But besides that, I'm not doing that much. I don't have a business to run, so I do have school. But besides that, I have more time to focus on that. And clan bosses. So clan boss right now, uh, Hydra, not worth for me even going there right now. Um, clan boss, I'm hitting on hard at about 6.4 right now. What was a good increase from 5.4 or 5.6. So G Scarred by himself just gave me close to a meter more damage, okay? Basically because survivability. Cool! So yeah guys, this is day 20. So let me know in the comments, are you guys following? Are you still interested? What would you want to see? Let me show you my great hall while I talk about that. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Do you think I should be doing a different route on this challenge i mean i think i'm doing pretty good but i may be sprinting and forgetting that i'm on a marathon and then get stuck on something you know so also faction wars i am at 172 stars not too bad usually what i do is if i have food like for example uh undead i just make my food uh, of the type that needs fight on Faction Wars and get a couple of stars here and there. All right, so thank you guys very much for being here with me. And as always, I'll see you in the game.